Good afternoon and happy Election Day. I'm Kristen Mayorano. Early vote centers closed yesterday at noon, and today's polls have been open now for about six hours. News Channel 18's Laura Kirtley was there when the polls opened and is still there. Let's go now to her live from Tippecanoe County Public Library Klondike, Klondike Branch. Laura, were there any problems reported this morning? Hey there, Kristen. Just a few minor technical issues this morning. Tippecanoe County Clerk Linda Phillips says that a couple voting sites did have some problems with their internet connection, but it's up and working as of now. Three other sites did make requests to have additional vote machines brought in because they are anticipating a pretty busy afternoon. But as for here at the library, there was a line formed before the polls even opened this morning. A lot of people waiting in line tell us they came early because they were expecting long lines like those during the 2008 general election. Supervisor Shirley Suavella says she was surprised at the large turnout this morning because early voting was so popular. She says that uh, they had about 130 voters in the first hour. I thought it might not be because of so much early voting, but it's really been steady. Not, not terrible. You don't have to wait a real long time, but it's steady. And let's go over some of those details again. Polls across Tippecanoe County open till 6 o'clock tonight. There are 19 vote centers that any registered voter in, the, in Tippecanoe County can use. We have a link to those vote centers and where they are on our website. Just a reminder to bring your government-issued ID. If there is an issue with your ID, go ahead, come on in, do a provisional ballot. You'll have 10 days to prove the legitimacy of that claim. So go ahead and come in. If you have that green postcard you got in the mail, you might want to bring that as well. It's going to make the process a whole lot easier. So again, open till 6 o'clock tonight. And I'm joined by Joe LePage now, who was actually at one of the early vote centers this morning. 19 in total, kind of a good process. A lot of people voting early. Yeah, in the variety of spice of life, more than 13,000 folks voted early. But the vote centers are what we're talking about now in Tippecanoe County, 19 to choose from. Now, the vote centers, the future in, in question is now in question. The vote center is now in question. Now, in last year's legislative session, there was uh, a Senate bill was written to keep vote centers around long term, but Governor Mitch Daniels didn't like some of Senate Bill 209, so he vetoed it. Tippecanoe County Election Co Director Heather Maddox says she hopes voter reaction will continue this vote center conversation. You can see it in the turnout. You can also see it our poll workers that were working at the early sites and the ones that are even working today. All they heard over and over again was, we love this, it's so convenient, and we hope we get to keep it. Now, voters of some area vote centers were asked to take a survey breaking down their vote center experience. Now, Maddox says whether you're for the vote centers or against them, the best thing to do is to make your voice heard. And to do that, just contact your area local elected official. Reporting in Tippecanoe County, Joe LePage, News Channel 18.